Now, beyond student use of AI tools, there is increasingly going to be the use of AI tools by teachers, and indeed AI tools that will replicate and indeed potentially supplant many of the practices of teachers. Um, we're increasingly having tools available that will allow us to write lesson plans, um, assess student work, go through a whole range of different processes that teachers have traditionally formed as our core practice. So how we respond to this is going to be of significant concern over the next decade. Now, already we're seeing a convergence of a range of technologies that allow AI tools to analyze student work, um, respond to student questions in terms of chat systems, to present um, avatars, um, human-like faces that can converse with students either through text or voice. And we'll soon be seeing generative video as part of that process as well, combined with the ability for the AI to generate code um, and other responses. Increasingly, we are going to see artificial educators where they take on the role, not just of being assistive tutors, but the full educative process. Now, this has lots of advantages around individualization and having 24 seven um, support for students. But some of the areas where teachers thought that they would be able to sustain um, a human dimension to teaching, we're already beginning to see um, digital systems able to improve upon what humans can do in terms of providing emotional support. Um, there's a lot of work being done in the autism space, but also in medical space, where we're using robots to provide emotional support to patients, to autistic students, and students that are having behavioral or emotional issues. Because a computer or a robot can be very, very patient, can work through issues with the uh, person or the child and support them in a way that it is difficult for a human to provide that level of support. So this aspect that was once thought by many teachers to be an area that they would retain predominance in is increasingly under challenge. Now, likewise, we're going to see the move from um, computer-based systems to robotic-based systems where the artificial intelligence and all of these capabilities is embodied in a robotic device, um, potentially a humanoid device that can interact with students, can play games with them, can walk around and um, be their uh, physical friend, not just a virtual friend and physical tutor, not just a virtual tutor. So these present a range of different challenges to education and in, to the role that educators play in the learning process. Now, one of the touchstones of um, defining what is a good educator are the ATSL standards for educators. Um, the Australian Institute of Teaching and something else. Um, but it sets out the standards of what teachers need to be able to demonstrate at various stages in their career. And they're quite specific. Now, one of the ways of identifying whether or not AI can replace a teacher is looking at these standards and determining whether or not there are any aspects of what a teacher is expected to be able to do that an AI can't do. And at the moment, there aren't any. So it's an issue. Um, and of course, as with many other professions, teachers will need to repurpose themselves in a way that provides value still to the educational process or be replaced and supplanted. Um, hopefully that doesn't occur. Most professions tend to find a way that they can have niche advantages where the technology can't yet meet those um, needs. And that's where we'll probably see things certainly over the next decade. But long term, it opens up a whole range of other questions. And we'll discuss these in the tutorial.